guys, it's Haley. Hi guys. I mentioned in not my last video, but the video before where I was painting that my mom and I were gonna fly to New York, but I didn't tell you the reason because I didn't know if I was allowed to share that information. Now I can. So before the video starts, I just wanna let you know the reason why I went to New York in the first place is because I've been working with this modeling agency for about six months now. They're called the Model Coaches. They're incredible, literally the best people. And they've been coaching me and they invited me to fly to New York to be a part of this live event. Where basically me and like seven or eight other models got to have a one-on-one -on -one shoot, coaching, just get the overall experience. And it was so incredible. Okay, um, bye, I'm gonna leave you alone. Okay, um, I usually never blow dry my hair, but I'm gonna go blow dry it just so, or at least half dry it, just so I can like fully see the color. I think it actually looks really good. So it is July 12th. It's the night before we leave for New York. Once again, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Out to the hotel, a bunch of taxis show up at the airport and there's like shuttling people in taxis. And all of these taxi drivers, I'm like, okay, cool. So all of them look like unsubs, love that. But we got a really good one. Really we nice. got like a, he looks like a family man, you know, like yeah. just like a nice guy and he was great. He didn't talk at all and we don't like talking to people. So it was perfect. You know the scene in the B movie when they're walking and he's like, well, don't you ever feel like things run a little too smoothly around here? And then it zooms out mm -hmm. and it's them in the middle of the road and then everyone's going around him but not hitting him. That's what it was like. Did you see that? People like will be walking down the street and taxi will just be like, they're, they're so close to him. So, so we gotta close. be careful walking. No, literally. <laughs> Eating at Steak Shack for the first time, and our uh, the employee that checked us out um, looked up and goes, "Ma'am, I just gotta tell you, your husband is one lucky man to my mom." And I said, "Period." to shower and get ready for bed. 
I want to get a lot of sleep tonight because I have a super, super busy, exciting day tomorrow and I want to be well rested. And I'm extremely tired today because I'm running on about four hours of sleep and that hasn't hit me. It didn't hit me until right about 20 minutes ago. I am struggling. I will see you after the shower. I feel so fancy right now. I already took off the majority of my makeup, but I wanna go over it again and then wash my face and then put oil in my hair. You'll see, you'll see. I got these new Burt's Bees Micellar makeup pouch. They smell so good. And then once I'm ready for bed, I just need to pack my bag that I need to take tomorrow because I have to bring a lot of stuff to the shoot. Okay. I'm gonna wash my face and I'll be back. Okay, I am also going to put some oil, my like defrizz oil in my hair. I'll put up a picture of what I use because obviously it's in a travel bottle and I don't remember what it's called. I know it's Garnier. Garnier? How do you say it? Okay. Other than like brushing my teeth. I think that's pretty much it. Oh, I'm also gonna moisturize my legs. Hey, that's me. Who am I? Like I'm in a hotel room in New York City in a bathrobe doing my skincare. That bitch is wishy for me. Um, I just wanted to give a quick shout out to the incredible makeup artist Kate who absolutely killed it. Follow her on Instagram. Um, when I was in the makeup chair, she literally thought I was from New York and thought I was a local. And then she asked me if I'd ever moved to New York and I said, um, absolutely yes, literally tomorrow. And she said, yeah, because your energy just belongs here. I can feel it. That's the best compliment I've ever gotten in my life. So shout out to Kate. Okay, just finished. Um, now I have to find my mom. <laughs> So, um, haven't really filmed anything for a while. Um, a lot has happened. Uh, we just ate dinner at a diner. Wow, this is a really good shot of my mouth. My makeup looks weird because it's like been on since like a long time ago. Anyways, people are staring at me, but hey, that's just the New York life, baby. We don't know where we're going. We never know where we're going. We tried to find this diner for, I swear on my life, an hour, and like, I just wanted to cry. Seven minutes away. <laughs> we literally got there like 30 minutes before they closed. And so I, I, I don't think I've ever eaten a burger faster in my life. Well, no, that's not true. Because water burger. Yeah. But I ate that burger so fast, I don't even know what it tasted like. Like, I don't know if it was good. Um, update, we just saw a rat scurry on the that street. Like, sweet. we really are in New York. Like, that's it said, disgusting. you're in New York. It was a fat-ass rat, too. Huge. It was huge. Hi, do you guys have plastic forks? Like just a plastic fork? Okay, thank you. It's okay. Bye. Ugh. Guess I'm just gonna have to eat my cake with my hand. You're just gonna be on the bed because I'm too lazy to like get my tripod and it's really loud because my mom's taking a shower and Despicable Me 2 is on the TV, but I left an outfit at the studio, so I have to go get that tomorrow, but I like really don't want to. So let's see if I show up, honestly. Yeah, I, I never got that outfit back. <laughs> Rip. <laughs> Sorry, mom, what was in that bag? Oh, they put a fork in your bag. <laughs> This is the fit. 
Uh, our hotel's a mess, don't check. Brown top, black skirt, Air Forces. I think it's cute. Here's the makeup. Whatever skincare the makeup artist used yesterday, my skin's glowing. Now we're going on our tour. We're gonna see the streets of New York. We are now trying to find either the pigeon lady or the, the wet bandits. Well, they were the wet bandits and then they changed it to the, the sticky, sticky bandits. bandits. Yeah. our lunch break and then we're going to get on a ferry to see the Statue of Liberty. So yeah, that's what's happening next. how I've been sweating. Just got finished with the tour. We just got a bunch of snacks to like revamp our energy and we're gonna go shopping. bought our I Heart New York t-shirts for like six dollars when all of the other stores were like 20 so what a steal also these guys try to sell us weed that was fun fun thing about New York is when you're just walking down the street and you see a person yelling you're either yelling at you yelling at somebody who's not there yelling at somebody across the street or yelling on the phone and you never know which one and so it's kind of like a fun little guessing game you know like you never really know like who they're screaming at. Okay, we're going to Times Square. This is the fit, ignore the Air Forces. They're my only comfortable shoes. Also the black brace, super cute. Makeup, I did like a sparkly thing. What's your fit? What's that? What's your fit? You tell your me. fit. Oh. Like where is it from? Oh. Your sparkly, sparkly pants. Uh, Nordstrom. So cute. Rack. <laughs> This is from Dillard's, my coach bag. Mm -hmm. I don't remember where I got the shirt. I don't know, but it's but cute. I love it. I think it was a thrift find. <laughs> wow. <laughs> She's trendy. I can't wait to get cat called by 50 year old men. <laughs> Ooh, I look so good though. Wow. There are so many creepy men. I'm so scared. But at least I look good. Got some really good Instagram pictures. And um, this guy, yeah. Um, and then this group of guys like to, like motioned me to come over to them, and so we ran away. Um, so skin by Hiram just walked past me. Did I say anything? No. No. She didn't want a picture with him. But he looks great. He had blue hair, killing it. Thinking of you. Thinking of you. Okay, so we're at Olive Garden. 
and like he asked if I wanted any dipping sauce and I told him ranch then he kept like laughing and then like not like derailing the conversation and I like I think he was making fun of me like I actually want ranch I don't think he's bringing me ranch is and so now I'm like is like ranch not a thing in New York like ranch is like so last season like what is it about <laughs> I want ranch like he literally like kept like uh like skipping over to a different conversation like you're like huh well we have like alfredo and stuff but did i say alfredo i feel bullied um so update ranch is not a thing in new york just it he was like i so he didn't what he brought like extra calamari sauce i'm like oh do you have ranch and he's like that's ranch and i'm like no it's not he's like well that's the first thing we have to ranch yeah we used to have like real ranch on the menu but we took it off <laughs> where am i i wanted to show y'all what i got okay i had to shut up don't bully me i had to get it got these blue jeans oh <laughs> blue jeans but they're actually blue jeans look how cute i got these really they look really comfortable these like yoga pants and they're like really long which is very rare for me because i'm 5'8 and then i got one more thing i got this white denim dress this isn't an extra extra small um partially because i am just very small in the boob area didn't try any of these on, even though the dressing rooms were open. Um, I was just not in the mood. Now we're packing, sadly, because we leave tomorrow. But our flight's not till like 7.45. Um, so checkout time is at noon. Um, the hotel's gonna like hold our luggage. And then we're gonna get lunch. And then we're gonna go to the Metropolitan, Metropolitan Museum of Art. I'm super excited. Last morning in New York, we are going to check out our room. Um, they're gonna hold our luggage and then we're gonna go to lunch and then to the Metropolitan Museum of Art. This is the fit. Um, I just had to be that tourist and wear an I Heart New York t-shirt. And I have my super baggy jeans that are literally like six inches too big in the waist. Long story. And then I always wear my Air Forces because that's all I've ever worn on this trip. Um, and then black bag that I literally got on Shein for like $2. 2002 necklace from Amazon. Both of these are from Walmart, and then hair clip is also from Shein. Yep. Conan Gray, people watching premiere in 30 minutes. Gotta go. stays on my waist. It's just nice because I don't want it on my neck because it's too hot. Oh my god, what was I gonna say? Oh, there's like the, 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 what's this called? What? What? <laughs> Airport. <laughs> the what? terminal. Like, this is D5. That's what, like, what is this? <laughs> what is this area? Yeah. <laughs> okay, whatever. The thing next to us. I had a flight going to the same place that we're going, but it was like boarding then. And it's so funny because we're literally so tired and so over it that they're like, we're, we're like, oh, is that our flight? <laughs> I don't know. We're worried that we're in the wrong we're, we're literally like, 
<laughs> and now I have to take my drugs <laughs> so that I don't throw up on the plane. Can you see the background? <clears throat> My family's in Florida and I'm in New York. My family's in Florida. My family's in Florida and I'm in New York. My family's in Florida. I'm in New York. My family's in Florida and I'm in New York. My family's in Florida and I'm in New York. <laughs> okay and that was the video i hope you guys like this video um, I want to talk a little bit about the actual day, like the photo shoot day. So my mom and I took the subway there, and then we got there, I met Trudy, I met Allie, I met Dawn, I met all of the other girls, everybody was so nice, and of course I was nervous, I was probably more excited than nervous. Of course, going into this, it's an intimidating situation, right? I mean, you're flying to New York, you're meeting really important people, you're finally on a real set. Like it's very real and it's intimidating. And after talking with the girls, um, they had all done this before. They've all done test shoots. And I think, I'm pretty sure I was the only one who's never done anything like that. So that can also make it even more scary when you find out that you're like the newbie, the fresh meat that's like, you know, never done anything before. It was, just the best group of people all the models were so nice so fun to be around because we were literally hanging out with each other for like eight hours <laughs> everybody was just hyping each other up and it was just the best energy and the best group of people and it made it such an incredible experience when that experience could have very easily been scary but it wasn't because of the people that were there and that they made it that way if any of the girls are watching, thank you for being so nice and for hyping me up and just making it such a fun day. And of course, thank you um, to Trudy, anybody at the Model Coaches who's watching, if you're watching, thank you so much for allowing me to just be in that room. Like I kept having moments throughout the day where I just kind of like stepped back and was like, I literally thought in my head, wow, I can't believe I'm in this room right now. Like, I can't believe I'm here doing this. Yeah, just thank you to everybody who was there. An endless thank you to Trudy and the entire Model Coaches team. Um, thanks for watching if you made it this far. Um, if you want to subscribe, you can do that. Uh, I have an Instagram if you want to follow it. I'm out of breath from posing for the thumbnail. And who knows if I'm even going to use any of that. Yep, okay, bye. <laughs>